Adriana. I've created a very unique workout that combines physique exercises and yoga poses. We will be focusing on twists to not only slim down your waistline, but to rejuvenate and detoxify the whole body. We have Tori here on my left. She'll help guide you along the way. We will warm up in a wide second. Step your feet out nice and wide. Bend your knees over the toes, reaching your arms up towards the sky. Start to take your hips down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. We want to get the legs nice and strong right away in the beginning. We will be doing some balancing poses, and we want to make sure the legs are strong. Let's take a little faster now, pulsing down and down. Take a full breath in, reach up a little longer through the waist. As you exhale, bow over to the right. You're engaging your right oblique and lengthening your left. Can you get your hips just a little bit lower now? Take it down and down. Now hold. Bring your right forearm to your right thigh. Left arm across your back. Spiral your left shoulder up towards the ceiling. We're in raw the goddess pose. Hips go down an inch, up an inch. We're toning the thighs, toning the glutes, as well as opening and twisting the upper body. Combining physique and combining yoga. Start to reach your arms over to the right again. Take your chest back up center and then back to that little pulse down and down. A little more energy, more heat. Make sure you are still breathing. Take a full inhale, lengthen. Exhale, let's bow, reach over to the left. Engaging the left oblique this time, lengthening the right. Can you get your hips to line up with your knees? Take it down, hold. Left forearm, left thigh. Right arm across your back. Spiral your right shoulder up towards the ceiling. Down an inch, up an inch. We're slouching over our computers. Yeah, bad habits, bad posture, it happens, right? And with this twist, we can release that. Reach your arms back over to the side. Inhale, come back up. Take those little pulses again. Here we go, down and down. Now let's start to pull the arms down, even more intensity. Take your chest forward and twist. We all live crazy lives, right? And twists can really, really stress and anxiety. So I want you to let go of the to-do list and really focus on you. Feel the surge of energy now. Give me four, three, two, one to get center. Hold. Bring your left foot to your right foot. Utkatasana chair pose. I want you to feel the strength you felt in wide second. Now in this chair pose position. Low on the legs. Lift the abs off the thighs. I want you to press down to the feet. Stand all the way up nice and tall. Hands to prayer. Pop your right heel high. Twist your upper body towards that right leg. Take a full inhale. As you exhale, slide your right foot all the way back in a lunge. Right elbow twisting towards your left knee. Back leg is straight, hips are square. Inhale, stand up tall. Twist to the right again. Exhale, twist back in that lunge. Now let's take a little faster now. Inhale, stand tall. Exhale, twist, lunge. Now you can always take this slower. Inhale as you stand up. Exhale as you twist left. Wrapping the upper body towards the right leg, wrapping the body towards the left leg. One more like this. Now for the challenge, we're gonna pick the right leg up. Twist towards the right knee. Exhale, twist towards your left knee. Inhale, lift up tall. Exhale, twist. You're really building strength in that left leg. Should feel that left outer thigh quite warm, right? Give me one more, take it back now, hold. You're gonna bend your right knee onto your right hip, start to pulse your right knee down to the floor, twisting the upper body towards that left leg. Your left knee's over your left ankle. Your right elbow is trying to touch that left knee each time. Great job, Tori. Now, are you still breathing a little bit deeper now? Feel that deep twist each and every time. Give me four more, three, two. Now, let's slow it down. Unwind, lift up, exhale, twist back left. Each time you unwind, feel fresh new positive energy come back into the body. Those rejuvenating qualities each time you twist. Now, can you give me more? Yeah, you can. Reach the arms to the side, right arm to the floor. Inhale, unwind, exhale back down. Can you touch your right hand to the front of that left foot? Inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, exhale. Now hold. Now you're gonna reach your right hand forward about a foot in front of your left foot. This may be enough. I want you to start to work on straightening the left leg though. Once you have that, can you start to pick your right leg off the floor? Maybe just a few inches, but if you can, all the way up straight and strong. Hips are square, back leg is straight, you're in revolving half moon. Left arm up, inhale, feel that tremendous twist in the waist. Exhale, bring your left arm back down, bend back into a lunge, and then your front leg, your left leg goes all the way back, three-legged dog. 
Feel that nice stretch for the front hip. Inhale here. Exhale, shift the weight forward into a plank. Left knee to your left elbow. Left knee is gonna go into the side, into the side. Can your left elbow and knee kiss? In, yes, we're good. Engaging the left oblique. Now even more intensity for the challenge. Pulse your upper body down, down. Your heart rate should be at a high here. You're working your upper body as well as the left side of the waist. Give me four more, two, three. Left that goes to the outside of your left hand. Woo, take a full inhale. As you exhale, you're gonna start to bend your elbows towards the floor. Now honor where your body is. Your elbows do not have to go all the way to the ground. Just a few things to keep in mind. You're gonna feel a tremendous stretch for the outside of this left hip. You wanna keep your back leg straight. It's called lizard pose. An amazing stretch for your lower back. Take a full inhale. As you exhale, bring that left leg all the way back into a strong forearm plank. As you do this, you're gonna bend your left knee down to the ground, down to the ground. Now, can you twist? Left knee under the right, under the right. Feel that left hip twist, wrapping towards the floor. Keep your focus at your hands though. Ring a little bit tighter now. Give me four, three, two, take it in the center, freeze. Keep those legs straight, make your way to your hands. Now, if you need to modify, I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see. You're gonna come off your knees towards your thighs. Chaturanga tricep push-ups, elbows in by the ribs and press. Feel the elbows graze the rib cage. Down nice and tight and push. Down and up. Now take it down, hold with Tori. Make your way to upward facing dog. Lift the thighs, open the chest as you exhale, downward facing dog. In downward dog, hands are forward. Hips are lifting up on a diagonal. As your hips lift up, heels reach down. Take a full inhale, try to release your head. As you exhale, step your feet forward towards your hands. Inhale, lengthen the spine a little bit, halfway up. Exhale, release back down. And as you inhale, come all the way up. Tita Hastasana, palms together down at your chest. Tadasana. Now if you feel your heart pounding into your hands, that's a great sign. Let's keep going. Keep your hips and knees facing to that diagonal, but twist your ribs and shoulders to face the front. Feel the twist in the waistline. If you need a sturdy piece of furniture, go ahead and grab onto a chair. As you inhale, lift the heel slightly off the floor. Bend your knees going straight down like you're in an elevator. Hips right on top of the heels. Feel the energy all the way up through the top of the head, the width across your chest with ease. Nice job. Bring your hands down to the floor. Feel that deep twist in the upper body, and then you're gonna step your feet back into a plank. Now our left knee is gonna go to our right elbow. Our right knee is gonna follow. Feel that deep twist. Now let's go back into that plank position again. Left leg goes right, right leg follows. Squeeze, 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 and then back to your plank. Now here we go faster. Left, right, out, out. Feel that deep twist in the waist, cinching, sizzling the waistline, as well as working the upper body. Can you bring the knees in a little closer to that right elbow now? Give me two more. Last one, take it in, hold. This deep twist is gonna really help you with the arm balance next. Feel the waistline to the left thigh. Place your hands onto the floor. So your left knee is going to your upper right arm, your left hip to your upper left arm. Hug your elbows in like you did in your chaturanga tricep push-ups. You're gonna lift your hips up high. Maybe lifting one foot, maybe lifting both, but this is side crow pose. Extremely challenging. Do your best and have patience. With practice, it definitely will happen. Go ahead and come out of it. Release, hold over the legs. Bring your hands to your hips. Plug your elbows up and with a long flat back, come all the way up to stand. We got the other side. Let's pivot our body to the left. Squeeze in our thighs together. Sit low, Utkatasana. Back into that strong chair pose. Shift the weight into the heels. Keep your navel lifted off the thigh. Let's stand all the way up. Hands together in front of your chest. Pop your left heel high this time. Twist your upper body towards that left leg. Inhale here. As you exhale, slide your left leg all the way back into a revolving lunge. Your right knee is bent and your left leg is all the way straight. Push down into that right heel, stand tall again. Twist to the left leg, inhale. Exhale, twist to that right leg, exhale. Let's try a little faster now. Inhale, lift, exhale, twist. Again, you can always take this slower 
You can even use a sturdy piece of furniture to help you balance. See if you can inhale, lift up, exhale, twist. Now taking it up a notch, left leg up, exhale, wrap. You can always keep the left foot on the floor. Inhale, lift if the knee is up all the way to the left leg, all the way to the right leg. One more, exhale, hold. Bend your left knee under that left hip. You're back in your lunge, little pulses down. Can we twist that upper body now towards that right leg? Again, check in, your legs are square. Left knee over your left ankle, hips are square. Right knee under that right ankle, or on top of the right ankle. Try to twist a little bit more now. Now unwind, breathe. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Again, notice those rejuvenating qualities each time you twist. Can you add your arms to the side? Take it down. Feel the length in the back. Twists are so, so great for spinal health. Inhale, exhale. Last one, take it down, hold. Right, or excuse me, left hand all the way to the front of your right foot. Try to shift the weight into the right leg, stretch. Feel that tremendous stretch for the right thigh. Left leg can stay on the floor or start to lift it all the way off the ground. Hips square. Feel the tremendous twist in the upper body, reaching up through that top hand. Inhale here. As you exhale, bring your right hand back down. Bend your right knee and then reach that right leg all the way back, three-legged dog. Feel the diagonal from your hands all the way up to that right leg. Inhale. As you exhale, shift forward. Right knee is gonna go to your right elbow. Now we're gonna pull that right knee into the right. Squeeze, squeeze, yes! Squeezing that right oblique. Can you add your upper body? Take it down, down, down. Now simplifying never means easy. So do your best. That's always the most important part. Give me four more. Three, two, right foot to the right hand, hold. Full inhale. As you exhale, start to bend your elbows. Maybe just a slight bend, working towards your forearms all the way on the ground. Hug your right knee in. Stretch your left leg all the way straight. Inhale and exhale. Great stretch for the front of that right hip, right? Let's go ahead and bring our right leg all the way back into a plank. Let's pick up the energy again. Right knee bends down and down. Can you tuck your right knee to the left? Hello, I see that right knee over here. Spiral, twist, right hip wrapping under. Taking a full inhale, exhale. You got it, give me four, even tighter, three. Two, take it center, freeze. Feel that length from your heels to your head. Can you keep your legs straight on this side? Make your way to your hands, right underneath the shoulders. You can modify if you need. You're gonna bend your elbows in by your ribs and press. Chaturanga push-ups. Feel the work in the backs of the arms. Down, now next time take it down, hold. Upward facing dog, stretch the arms, lift the thighs, open the chest. Exhale, hips go up and back, downward facing dog. Letting the head release, a great moment to reconnect to your breath, reconnect to that intention. We are almost finished. Make your way to your hands. Inhale, lengthen the spine, little flat back. Exhale, release over the legs. Inhale, arms to the side, coming all the way out and up. Palms together in front of your chest. Tadasana. Keep your hips, knees, thighs facing the left. Twist the ribs towards the front. Inhale, lift up to the top of the head, hover the heels. And then in one strong piece, can you go straight down like you're in an elevator? Hugging the abs in, still with your full inhale and exhale. Once you're at the bottom, bring your hands down to the front of the right thigh. Again, this twist is gonna help us later. Let's go back into our plank. Now let's lead with the right leg. Right leg's gonna go across to the left. Left leg follows, twist. Press back into that plank position. One more slow. Right leg goes left, left leg goes right. Squeeze, squeeze, back. Now can we take it faster? Go in, in, out, out. Again, this temple's a guide. Take it slower if you need. I want you to feel that deep twist in every time. Then knees come forward. You got two more. Last one, take it in, hold. Twist the upper body a little bit more. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, place your hands onto the floor. Hug the arms in. Lift high to the toes. Take your time, be patient. Right knee to your left upper arm. Right hip to your right upper arm. Lift your feet up off the floor. Taking it step by step. 
And when you're ready, make your way out of it. Lower your feet, lower your hips, and go ahead and lay all the way on your backs. We're gonna take a bridge pose to finish. Tuck the tailbone under, lifting the hips up. Walk your arms underneath the shoulder blades, palms together, opening up the chest. With deep twists, we are releasing stress, detoxifying your body, improving spinal health and digestion, so many amazing benefits. And the more you practice, the more you're gonna be able to tackle those challenging poses and experience those amazing benefits. Go ahead and release your hips, release the arms. Keep your feet apart, but just bring the knees together. Then bring the arms all the way across your chest, embracing all your hard work. We look forward to your next practice with us. Namaste.